and welcome to the Political Ranter Show. If you live in the UK and if you're a supporter of the Labour Party and especially if you're a supporter of Corbyn, you will be aware of the t- Twitter trend right now, which is the boycott of the BBC media. And it is very important and I'll tell you why. Basically what this is, is a boycott of any any BBC um, service from six o'clock today and I'm not sure if the campaign has an end date yet but this um, this campaign is to just campaign against the media bias towards Corbyn and against all the hatred that he has suffered at the hands of the BBC media. Recently Corbyn has come under more fire than he usually does from the British press especially about the anti-semitism row and um, how he's not getting control of the situation. Before this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of some of the facts that the BBC will probably never ever tell you. The Tories came into office in 2010 and since then, 120,000 deaths have been linked to their devastating austerity policies. Theresa May apparently lied to the Queen when on the day she became Prime Minister saying that she already had a deal with the DUP but nothing was set in stone yet. A fifth of the UK's population now live in poverty because of the devastating policies of the Tory party. An even more shocking fact is that a million children across this country now live in poverty because of austerity. So those are some of the facts that the BBC will never broadcast to you. Emily Benn has reportedly reported to the BBC that the Labour Party has become so intolerant. But let's take a look at some of the things that the BBC will broadcast to you. Apparently, the Tories are aiming for a candidly equal gender split, forgetting the fact that Tories austerity policies are hurting ethnic minorities and women more than they are hurting the male population. And articles and articles about Jeremy Corbyn being accused of being anti-Semitic. But let's not forget that Boris Johnson recently been discussing things about Islamic women and how their hijabs make them look like letterboxes. But surprise, surprise, no media outlet is running this as a huge story. And no media outlet is, is, is accusing the Conservative Party of being Islamophobic and running a huge campaign against them. Oh look, there's another anti-Labour article here. See all this propaganda. Earlier, if you watched my five minute live stream, I did talk a bit about the anti Semitism issue within the Labour Party, basically explaining that it is an issue and we need to tackle it. And the fact that Jeremy Corbyn, probably the most anti racist MP that we've ever had in Britain, is being accused of anti Semitic is absolutely ridiculous. This is the type of things that right wing media outlets do come out with. I think we do have to acknowledge that there is a right-wing BBC bias towards towards the Conservative Party and I think we do have to acknowledge that this is a serious issue within British politics so if you are in the UK and are able to please please do participate in the BBC switch off and if you do want to find out more information please go to Twitter and it is the number one trending topic on Twitter right now so that will give you all the information you need but for me this is goodbye and tune in next time